Playbo of Villafranca, Orizaco, Classica. Now, quick shout out to James Jobber, general legend, and he managed to make it in the break, which was huge. This is a mega hilly race up and down in the Basque country all day. Um, so yeah, impressive of him to get in the break. This is previously won by like Simon Carr, Simon Yates, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. People who win this race are very good. It was live streamed all day. It was horrendous weather all day. Um, and to be honest, not much happened too early on. Uh, but we'll quickly get in it to the last couple kilometers where it's a fight between UAE and Lascano. So 144k, you can see again, not much is happening. Bunch is cruising, just chasing. You can see Orica doing quite a lot of chasing here. Again, when we look behind here, UAE doing a fair amount of work. Some of the footage is a little bit lagged, but that's just the way it is. Um, as they have both Ayuso and Hershey, who are kind of favorites. Here we have EF pacing they have ben healy and simon carr so again makes sense to set a hard tempo movistar wouldn't say they had any out and out favorites but they did have a strong squad all round, including lascano now on this climb uh it's quite a long way to go it's like again a classic kind of basque country pretty narrow um and from here actually one of the movistar riders decides that it was time to head out of the bunch and attack and i don't think this was a bad idea um i believe this is lascano in his spanish national champs kit um, and yeah, he attacks early, Ben Healy straight on his case, Ayuso and Hershey as well. Um, and this actually drags out quite a lot of the favourites, to be honest. Um, and you'll see that after this climb, there really aren't many left. He actually leaves it to go quite late on in the climb. And everyone's kind of looking around. Last Connor, if you don't know him, second in Duas Flandre in this year, won the Spanish, Na Spanish National Champs. He is mega strong. He got second in Duas Flandre despite being in the break all day. Definitely a guy with a mega, mega kick. Um, and so there were some interesting tactics. Anyway, you can see here, Ayuso is really driving this break. Again, I don't know why. I think, in my opinion, some UAE tactics were dodgy today. Again, this is Hershey and Lascano. This is a good, better combo where I think Lascano um, and Hershey are more evenly matched in terms of a sprint. Um, but again, if I was Hershey, it still wouldn't be working. I'd, I'd rely on Lascano because I think having the two cards to play in this kind of finish is, is the better one to have because I wouldn't really say any of them were a favourite to beat Lascano in a sprint so again you can see even more attacking this is ben healy on the penultimate climb, oh sorry on the ultimate climb the final climb of the day ben healy attacks early maybe not the best idea in hindsight um and he starts to split this group up quite a lot you can see ayuso is here then healy then lascano who's climbing really well then hershey um and then another rider is trying to get back on ben healy goes again here attacking now this is where, again, uh, Ayuso starts to drill it. And I don't get why he does this because Hershey's in difficulty. Okay, he's dropped Healy, so good, press on. But he presses on so much that um, Hershey's almost getting dropped. And in my opinion, Healy is not a competitor to Hershey in a sprint. So it's actually irrelevant, really, if he's there. And instead, he goes so hard. Um, and then he attacks Lascano here, which is like, okay, fine. I kind of get that, but not really because Lascano will beat you in a sprint. Hershey's pacing back on. He looks around. And he still paces. So this is some wild things. Last con is probably like, mate, you're just doing my job for me. Cheers. Again, you can see Ayuso at the very top of this climb, attacking again, Hershey off the back. Really not the best tactics that I've ever seen um, from UAE. And I think strength in numbers in a finish like this would be way better. Trying to one term and if it doesn't succeed, um, making sure that Hershey's there for the sprint would have been a far better option. On this descent, Lascano kind of bottles it. It's pretty nutty to be fair. Like, mega rain um and Ayuso does just take big risk on these descents it seems uh Lascano a lot of gas so no stress does get back on but you can see around these corners he's not confident you can tell he's not confident because he like doesn't pedal into the corner stops uh like three wheels and then pedals back into the corner showing that he doesn't really know where the grip level is because if he was confident he'd just pedal the whole time anyway we go into this nutty finish and we've got these two out front and then the camera is going to pan around and you'll see Hershey um, as well as Ben Healy coming back. And here you're like, okay, fine. It's a done deal. No stress. It's going to be a four up sprint. Um, I still would back Les Carno 100% of the time, but it is a mega technical run in and it is slippy roads as we are about to find out. So Healy again is chasing. The gap actually here isn't that big. And to be honest, Hershey haven't been so fresh because I assume he was sitting on the whole time. Um, actually, maybe maybe could have had a Les Carno uh, but in the sprint. But anyway, we go around this corner and... Then suddenly they're kind of out of picture and you're like, what's happened? Um, but what we're about to see is on this left-hand corner, you can still see them up, up ahead. 
um, they're about to have a big crash. Now, I don't actually know where Laz Cano crashed. I think maybe he crashed before, but you just see there he is, the unfortunate man uh, of Ayuso on the deck. Um, we're going to keep going now. I don't know where Laz Cano is, somewhere behind. Apparently, he already crashed, but there was just no footage of him. Now, it's full gas to finish, but it isn't because there's actually a big gap to all the other guys behind. Um, and I don't know if everyone knew they were in the lead. I guess they kind of did. They must have seen Laz Cano on the floor somehow. Because um, now Healy, I think, realises, oh, hang on a minute. I actually don't need to leave this all out because, uh, you know, there's no pressure from behind. Hershey's probably the better sprinter. Um, they go around this right-hand corner and, and it starts to get uphill. And you can see they're sprinting mano on mano right next to each other. And we're going to see, if you look at the top right-hand corner of this camera shot, it's not the best. You're going to see Mark Hershey absolutely dominating um, and wins the sprint easily against Ben Healy. But anyway, super interesting race. Um, hope you enjoy. Cheers for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.